It's Friday, September the 10th. And we're at the top of Bigelow Mountain. A lot of huge rocks up here, and that's uh, southbound AT we just came from. Nice three mile climb we just did. Really wasn't that terrible. I think it's 1800 feet or something, but it was wasn't real technical. And there's supposed to be a viewpoint up here, but it's rainy today. We stayed at the um, over overflow. I think it was called Overflow Inn last night. And this little town, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but um, a little tiny town with several very expensive restaurants. I'm not sure what that was all about. So we ended up buying stuff and cooking things in the uh, kitchen of the hotel. And here's our view. Oh yeah, wow. No mooses. Yeah. A little daylight way out there. Sun's sun is supposed to come out this afternoon. What was the name of the town we were in? Stratton. Stratton, Strat Stratton Maine. Oh. Flew out right in front of me. Try to get a little bit closer without scaring it. Hey, buddy. Are you a baby? Where'd it go? There it is. Are you a baby? You're a pretty thing. I better go. All right. Hit the top of our first 4,000 footer in a while. First one for today. Now we gotta go down that. Bigelow Southhorn. No, 3831. We're not 4,000. I thought we were. Oh well. West Peak 2.1, maybe that's the 4,000. Uh, All right. Now we gotta go down. See the view? Ain't it beautiful? All the fog. Oh, that was worth the climb. Yeah. Made it to the top of this 4,000 footer and uh, wind is blowing like crazy. There's the sign. It's big, big, big low or whatever the heck it is. I don't know, but it's straight down. I just want to get off this damn thing. The wind, I found a little spot here. The wind is blowing uh, about 35 miles an hour, I think. 
Wow. I was going to let the wind die down a second and try to get the hell off this mountain. So anyway, here goes. All right, we're going up to our second 4,000 footer today. And I think the wind's even worse. Hope I make it over this thing. It's above the tree line too, so there's nothing to hang on to but rocks. So anyway, this is what it is. Somewhere way up there, I don't know. I don't see a sign up there. This is the view. Somebody's getting a little sunshine down there. I wish it was us. Okay, there's a summit way up there. If I can so I could see Strider, but the fog came in. I swear this wind's gotta be going 50 miles an hour. If you can see that how fast that fog's moving or not. Found a spot out of the wind on the other side of this ridge, and there's some blue sky up there. Wow! So I gotta go up there, and I swear it feels like it's about to blow me off the mountain. So here goes up and over. I hope he's taking pictures of the signs because I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep going, and that wind is blowing. Wow! The sun finally came out today. A little while ago, not very long ago, we were on top of that. Been surrounded by lakes and mountains all day. Don't get to see a lot of it, but when we do, really beautiful. We're getting near our tent site. And wow, huge rocks everywhere. I mean, huge. There's a tunnel right up there, that one. There's supposed to be more down here. We'll see. Just crested another Bigelow Mountain, and there sure are a lot of these out here. Ski resort there. A lot of slopes. That's where we came from. Here's some more of these rock formations, rock formations, rock falls. They fell from way up there a long time ago. And <clears throat> gonna make a tunnel here, it's pretty cool. I need a hard hat. No beggars. One of Maine's beautiful lakes, and they have a lot of them. Sun's coming out. We only got about 17 or 18 more miles to go. Beautiful day. Well, it might be warm enough for a swim. Yep. Another beautiful lake. 
Wow. It is Sunday, September the 12th, and 7.30 a.m. We're the last, next to the last people to leave the tent site. Oh, well. I guess we're not morning people. This is the pond that we slept next to last night. Our, our view was obstructed by trees somewhat still really pretty though and um we got in really late last night we didn't get until about 7 30 so it was almost dark when we got here but we're heading out we're gonna do we did 23 miles yesterday and we're gonna try to do an 18 today we'll see what happens my feet are killing me Okay, we're getting ready to do the most dangerous thing we've ever done. Yeah. You know, we're really getting into the wild when we got to cross some stuff like this right here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see if he can make it. If he makes it, then I'll try it. You know, it gets harder and harder because it gets more narrow. I'm like a tightrope walker by the time I get to the end here. Yeah. They put the handrails kind of low, don't they? Uh -huh. I hear cracking. What is that? Yeah, well, let me do it again. That was too easy. Yeah, all right, here I come. <laughs> 